Consider this perspective. Every connection you form in your life, whether romantic or otherwise, holds a spiritual essence. I acknowledge that this viewpoint may not be widely embraced, as many seek the fulfillment of encountering a cosmically destined super special person. However, recognizing spirituality is not only a transcendent truth, but also a tangible reality on Earth, unveils the profound spiritual significance each person brings into our lives. These connections serve as instructors, imparting lessons on generosity, patience, self-respect, compassion, and other virtues that often emerge through the reflective mirror of interpersonal dynamics. It's worth noting that while some relationships may not be inherently more spiritual, certain connections possess a deeper impact on our souls. These distinctive spiritual relationships uniquely challenge us, unearthing latent virtues and bringing forth our better selves in unprecedented ways. Determining if you are in a spiritual relationship prompts consideration. What does it truly signify? A cautionary note is essential in a contemporary environment, fixated on discovering the one true soulmate or twin flame. I am not to endorse the misguided pursuit of outsourcing happiness to an idealized other, as it tends to intensify feelings of lack and suffering. Is a spiritual relationship a prerequisite for happiness? Not. It's crucial to dispel the notion that satisfaction and completeness hinge on finding the perfect other, because true wholeness is innate. You and your soul are inherently complete, others merely reflect that completeness to you. Some individuals derive empowerment from solitude, resisting the notion that someone else holds the keys to their fulfillment. These independent souls flourish in their self-reliance, and if you resonate with this stance, I commend you. I'm not here to persuade you otherwise, I respect your profound wisdom. Simultaneously, this article may not hold significant value for you, but you might find the power of solitude to be a more compelling red. If you're seeking a spiritual relationship, that's perfectly fine. However, it's essential not to anchor your happiness solely on it. Such a connection will manifest when or if it does. Meanwhile, focus on discovering internal sources of joy, and this inner fulfillment will enhance your openness to external influences. Now, let's delve into the concept of a spiritual relationship. Such a connection, whether romantic or platonic, catalyzes personal growth, evolution, and flourishing on a profound soul level. While many connections prompt surface-level changes, spiritual relationships penetrate to the core of our being, reflecting both our shadows and light. Metaphysically, we can posit that spiritual relationships have the potential to form among individuals, or even extend to places or animals, operating on the same energetic wavelength. These entities become part of our soul family, and their presence often elicits a strong and immediate sense of connection or recognition. Examining various types of spiritual relationships is valuable based on my experience in a decade-long spiritual relationship. I'm not inclined to label my relationships but I acknowledge the occasional utility of labeling to gain fresh perspectives. Karmic relationships, for instance, are designed for individuals to collectively address unresolved issues or karma. These relationships, whether between romantic partners, friends, siblings, colleagues, or family members, tend to be uncomfortable and dramatic and may conclude on a negative note. Once the lesson intended by the karmic relationship is learned, individuals typically move forward or may revisit similar connections later, as they continue to work through their karma. On the other hand, a soul friend transcends typical surface-level friendships. This deep connection involves shared likes and dislikes but more importantly, shared values and yearnings, resulting in an unusually profound friendship. Soul-teacher connections with soul-teachers can manifest in various scenarios, 
including traditional student-teacher relationships, as well as between lovers, friends, acquaintances, and colleagues, even a chance encounter with someone who leaves a lasting impact on your life can serve as a soul teacher, offering spiritual guidance. Many of us have individuals we admire, even those we've never met, who fulfill the role of a soul teacher. In essence, every soul we encounter on our journey can play a role as a soul teacher in some way. Soulmates soulmates, whether in a romantic or platonic context, play a distinct role in our lives by aiding us in becoming the best versions of ourselves. The initial meeting with a soulmate often triggers a profound sense of recognition, although this is not universal. Shared deep understanding and alignment on the same wavelength characterize soulmate connections, even if surface differences may appear stark. Soulmates may be enduring or brief companions, but they consistently exert a profound influence, supporting our growth, evolution, and flourishing. Can one person fulfill multiple roles? Certainly. It's possible to have a soul mate who also serves as a soul friend or a karmic relationship that doubles as a soul teacher. However, I am hesitant to believe that a karmic relationship and a soul mate connection necessarily go hand in hand. While there might be exceptions, my conception of soul mates generally involves healthy, albeit occasionally challenging, connections rather than toxic ones. As for the exclusion of twin flames, the concept is not included due to its problematic nature. The idea of a twin flame often fosters a toxic narrative, suggesting the existence of one rare person who is the literal other half of your soul. This notion places an immense burden and pressure of expectation on another individual. Personally, the term soulmate appears more manageable and conducive for exploration. Additionally, the following paragraph discusses nine signs indicative of being in a spiritual relationship, portraying relationships as the ultimate yoga continuous, dynamic journey of self-discovery, mirroring, and a delicate balance between solitude and togetherness. The narrative underscores the fluidity of relationships, navigating moments of closeness and space, and the perpetual dance between birth and death. Immediate intuitive recognition. At the commencement of a spiritual relationship, an immediate intuitive recognition or a sense of kinship often emerges. This may include feelings of deja vu, or a perception of being connected by an invisible thread. Trust your intuition as it will guide you in understanding the connection, deeper connection beyond surface trivialities. Unlike many superficial relationships that dwell on surface level matters, a spiritual relationship delves into the realms of ideas, hopes, dreams, longings, and values. While small talk may be minimal, it becomes inconsequential in the context of deeper and ultimately more relevant conversations. Heightened vulnerability. In a spiritual relationship, the customary shields and ego layers that protect isolation become ineffective. You might feel vulnerable, yet paradoxically, more authentically seen by the other person. Endless and engaging conversations. Conversations within a spiritual relationship are characterized by free-flowing, inspiring, and profound exchanges. Unlike typical conversations that may induce boredom, spiritual connections allow for endless tangents without dullness or self-consciousness. Active personal growth. Spiritual relationships often propel personal growth, urging individuals to move beyond stagnation and actively examine internal blockages. Even in challenging relationships, such as karmic ones, the emphasis is on fostering growth and evolution. Affirmation coupled with challenge. Participants in spiritual relationships feel supported and affirmed, except in toxic karmic relationships. Simultaneously, challenges arise, questioning long-standing negative beliefs and prompting individuals to grow beyond self-limiting patterns. Feeling safe and truly seen. 
Trust and mutual respect form the foundation of a spiritual relationship, creating a safe space for individuals to be authentically seen. Open discussions about fears and traumas contribute to a deep sense of being valued for who you are, imperfections included. Activation of inner child and shadow self. As traditional ego defense mechanisms weaken in spiritual relationships, the inner child and shadow self may become more active. This experience varies based on the type of spiritual relationship, ranging from challenging to exasperating, serving as an opportunity for healing and self-discovery. Permanent soul level expansion. In a spiritual relationship, you observe a permanent expansion on a soul level. The person you were before, during, and after the relationship are distinctly different beings. This transformative journey, marked by the reflection in the mirror of a kindred soul, leads to profound growth, making you more open, wise, aware, and appreciative of life's mysteries.